Foster, wildlife gardening expert at the RHS. In a garden such as this one, traditionally it's now the time of year when we'd be thinking about cutting back our herbaceous perennials. But for ourselves and most importantly for our wildlife, it's much better if we don't. So the reason we might be cutting back our perennials is because they would naturally be dying down to ground level now and it can seem a lot tidier certainly to cut all those back. But if they're still standing like we have here in this border, then actually they can look jolly attractive. And remember, when we get a hoar frost, that brown stem really will come to life. The benefit of having all this cover over winter is that it creates lots of different habitats for our wildlife. So what we've got right down here at ground level is huge amounts of cover right down there in all those plant stems. This means that there's going to be a lot of space for things like ground beetles and spiders in there. You can even get small mammals right in the very heart of your stems. So there's actually quite a lot of stems which have an additional hidden habitat and that's the fact that they're hollow inside. So if I take my secateurs, I'll just show you. Take a look at that, completely hollow. And it's in there that you'll find things like insect larvae that have a nice cosy overwintering site. You can leave the stems on the plant and they'll work for nature or you can take them off if you want and cut them into sections and have a little mini habitat pile. So then of course what we've also got is all this stem architecture. It's essentially like a high rise for bugs. And in there there's going to be lots of shelter and protection for things like lacewings and ladybirds that need to overwinter outdoors on plants. And up at the top of the plant stems of course are where the seed heads are. And these provide valuable nutrition for things like our garden finches right through winter. There's lots of different seed heads that you can find in gardens, different shapes and sizes that will suit all sorts of different birds. So of course, when it gets to the end of the season, or perhaps if you do need to do a bit of tidy up, don't waste all those viable stems. Add them to your very own habitat pile like we've done here. And there's lots of nooks and crannies for things to overwinter in. And the nice thing about a pile like this is you can have it year round. Just as soon as you've got some material, add a bit more.